Hey John from Fatstacks here. In this uh, brief video I'm going to step you through how you can set up a tracking URL with the Google URL Builder so that you can track uh, AdSense revenue from pretty much any link source on the web. Okay. Now this comes in handy like typically with analytics and, and if you integrate with AdSense you can track how much revenue you earn from Facebook overall or from organic search overall or from Pinterest overall. But what you can't track is, is if you uh, post, let's say, one post to Facebook and it sends traffic to your page, you want to maybe know how much you, revenue you earn from AdSense from that individual Facebook post, or if you do a Facebook ad campaign, how much revenue you're generating with AdSense from a Facebook ad campaign, okay? So what I use for that is called the Google URL Builder, and I've got the URL right up here. It's a bit of a mess. I've just, just Google, uh, in Google, Google, Google URL Builder is a mouthful. Okay, so it's really simple. It's free. It's online. So basically, this is it. You're going to input uh, some of these fields. You can input all the fields, but I found that the, the non-required ones, I, they didn't really provide any help, so I just didn't bother. Okay, now I do it a little bit different than the way Google, the Google has these sort of suggestions underneath. I get a little bit more detail. Okay, so here's, here's what you're going to do. You're going to put your, your uh, the, the link to where the traffic is going. Okay, so, um, uh, target URL, whatever that may be. And then let's say you're doing a Facebook ad campaign. You could do Facebook ads. And then you want to specify the campaign. So this is where you're going to have to develop your own system. Usually what I do is, is I'll input the title of the post to where I'm tracking uh, the post on the website to which I'm tracking the revenue from, but you might do it differently. You might be more specifically and, and put more of a descriptor as to from the source of the the traffic. You just come up with your own way. Just whatever you put in here, just do it so that you're able to know and say, okay, that was that Facebook post I posted on December 2, and it was the one uh, you know pertaining to it linked to this particular blog post on my website and so you know exactly how much that I'm making or obviously make it clear so that you know which Facebook ad campaign you're doing so generally what I do is, is I'll just put uh, a name of blog post and then date and if I'm doing different countries I'll specify the the country itself too like for an ad for a paid campaign um, and this works for Bing I use it for my Bing campaigns. You can do it for ind individual Facebook posts to your page. You can do it for Facebook ads. You can do it for native advertising, like if you do to Taboola or Outbrain or something like that, you can use it for that. So pretty much anywhere you're creating links and you're driving traffic, you can do it for uh, the source uh, link in a, in a Pinterest uh, pin. And pretty much really the sky's the limit and you're going to be able to track. Now, you can also track a lot more than just your AdSense revenue. You may not even use AdSense on your website, but you can track like conversions for uh, email signups. Uh, you have to set up a conversion goal in your analytics. And then uh, once, you know, that's set up, you can you can totally track it all. Now, I don't, I don't do it for any conversion, so I don't know the real sort of hands-on mechanics of setting that up. But I know that it can be done, okay? I use it primarily for AdSense revenue tracking. And that's it. And I leave these two blank. And then what I do is for the last one that's required is I just create an amalgamation of the of the two here. And then that's it. So that you can see that that's uh, there. And then so basically what will happen is, is you'll submit it. Okay, well, we, it wants a... Um, it wants a URL there. So then you submit it. And you get this long string here, and that's the link you use, and then it'll, it'll track all of these things. And so in your analytics account, you'll be able to see, when you go to all traffic sources, uh, you'll be able to see specifically each of these are listed as an item uh, for a uh, uh, traffic and revenue source for AdSense. But you can check out a lot of other details, like how much traffic you sent, page views, Basically, all the stuff you normally see in analytics, you can now track it on a specific traffic source by link. So that's really, really useful. And um, I'll end with suggesting if, you, if you're going to use this on organic social media, especially like Facebook posts on your page and Pinterest and so forth, I would probably run this through a URL shortener just because it's kind of messy. Uh, I typically don't do it on the organic social media stuff just because I'm lazy and I don't want to have that much data in there. I use it primarily for my paid campaigns so, and because obviously that's a lot more important to be able to track 
what my ROI is going to be. So, but you can you can take this and and every link you build out on the web, you can use this and you'll get you know reams of data specifically showing you exactly how much AdSense revenue you're earning from all of those links.